What's the difference between a 4.0 and a 4.6? About 30 to 40 grand. Cock stuck a beat it. Nah, y'all. So let's talk about what's the difference between a beginner's wig and a lace front wig, okay? So you always want to know what you're getting before you get it. Nobody wants to waste their time or their money. So I'm going to tell you what the difference is between a beginner's wig and a regular lace front and why we call it a beginner's wig, okay? So our beginner's wigs come in a 4x4 and a 5x5. Five five. So let's talk about why it's a beginner's wig. It's a beginner's wig because it's easy to put on, easy to take off. It's for beginners. This is the 4x4, four four, so you just have that 4x4 four four inch lace on there so if you want to snap that baby on snap it off you can four by four so you would measure your head how far would a four by four go on your head so if you're looking for that super deep part down the middle this is not what you want if you don't care about that deep part and you just want a nice wig at a great price four by four is fine if you're wearing a bang or something or just a little short part four by four deep part no beginner's wig yes why because it just has a closure on it the closure allows you to snap it on and off very easily okay five by five boom still a beginner's wig why is it a beginner's wig? Because it only has a closure on it. This does not have to be glued down if you don't want to. If you want to pop that baby on in the morning and pop it off at night, you can. Yes, you will get that great illusion look if you glue it on, but you don't have to if you don't want to. This wig on my head, I just popped it on because I don't care about all that. I'm trying to get dressed. I'm trying to get to work on time. I don't have time to glue a wig down to my head. So I have on a beginner's wig. I just cut it in a bob. This is available on the website. It's the asymmetrical bob, okay? Back to what I was saying, beginner's wig, beginner's wig, beginner's wig. Why are they beginner's wig? Because it's a wig for a person who don't know how to wear a wig. Beginner's wig just has a closure on there, okay? So you do not have to glue it down. Now, lace front wig. This is not a beginner's wig. Do you see why? because it has an ear-to-ear lace. So if you put this on your head, it's not gonna stay on. You have to glue it down, okay? So you have to glue down a lace frontal wig. And y'all see that super nice thin HD lace on there, but we'll talk about that another time. I don't wanna confuse y'all. Let's talk about the lace front wig, okay? So you guys see how far this lace goes around. So when you put it on your head, literally the lace is gonna go from here to here. So you have to glue this down in order for it to stay on. So this is not a beginner's wig because you can't just take this home and pop it on your head, okay? So I hope I helped you guys out. A beginner's wig is a wig that has a closure on it, a four by four or five by five inch closure. So you can put it on and take it off daily if you want to. A frontal wig has a 13 by 4 or 13 by 6 inch, which is from ear to ear. And it has to be glued on in order to stay on. So I hope this helped you guys out whenever you're purchasing your wig units from whatever company you purchased them from. But I just want to make sure you guys are not wasting your money and that you are buying exactly what you want. See you next time. Wait, y'all see our lovely display of ladies from four inch to 26 inch, okay? Beautiful, right? Look at this beautiful display. Gorgeous, right? Posh collection. See you next time.